runner to lead off the inning. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Pulled toward right center field. Here's the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. As a look, now the pitch. This is throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. I don't know if there was any intent behind that pitch, but it certainly opens up the outer half of the plate with this next one. Just off the inside corner, taken for a ball. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Mondesi isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Standing in now, Kike Hernandez. That's a big He'll swing and pop it up toward the left side of the infield. Rendon is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Man at second here with two away, and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. Here's Mark Trumbo now. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder Trey Mancini. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So coming to the plate, Tommy Edmond. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Edmund. Out in front of it, strike one. One out, nobody on. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Coming in is Hernandez, but he won't get there. It falls in. Batting it. The catcher, Gary Hansen. Ryan Brazier enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Sanchez absolutely hammers left-handed pitching. There's a lot of pop in his swing for sure, but if there's one criticism of his bat, it's that he doesn't put the ball in play enough in these situations. Seems like hitters like this are more and more common these days. Set to deal on 2-2, two and two, and he fouls this one off. Another try at 2-2. Two, two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Three two pitch. Fouled away. Edmund stands at first with one out. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Shin Su Chu will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Oh, 
Lined into right, a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one now away. Adelberto. At the plate now, Adelberto Mondesi. And it's fouled away. 0 and 1, here it comes. Behind 0 and 2 now. Oh. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. Great arm action on that two strike changeup right there. But even better job at the plate to take that one. A dive by Pujol. One there, not in time. So stepping in, Jonathan Scope, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. and This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. On the move is Taylor. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Josh DeMont takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. At the plate, Chris Taylor as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The center fielder, Chris Taylor. Here it comes. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Count now a ball and a strike. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring in Manny Machado. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Oh, well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off-speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Eddie Murray will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. And he misses 2 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. A shot to first base and caught there to end. Jake Deepman, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Top of the third set to get underway, and here comes the first baseman, Mike Mustakis. One and oh, the count. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hernandez range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Rip down the line. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. Diekman has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. 
All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The one-two. Gets him looking up around the letters. So bases are empty here with two gone. And now Derek Dietrich strides into the batter's box. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. Swings through it for strike number two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The Buckeyes claim the victory despite being held to only three.
afternoon baseball here on the show. We've got Division Series Diamond Dynasty action in this one between Columbus and Alabama. Standing in, Jose Ramirez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The third base Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and A ball and a strike. A 1-1. Our temperature 74 degrees as we get things started this afternoon. Hit sharply on the ground and that finds its way through for a base hit. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A swinging strike and now it's 0-2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. At the plate, Ken Griffey Jr. as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 0. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. Makes the play one away. Now in the box, Travis Darno. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Has a look now, pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Acuna is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Runners at the corners. Two men out. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Harper is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job. In now, Ronald Acuna. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Ronald Acuna. Pitch on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. On oh, a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. And a big cut at the breaking ball but he comes up empty and that's the first out. Into the box number 10. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. Very high, two and one. And he fouls this one off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third. And no swing. It's ball three. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. 
Striding in, Bryce Harper. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Stepping in now, David Ortiz. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. The 2-1. Two Hit out towards second. He's right there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Late Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. Fernando Tatis. Out in front of it, strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse, a home run. Here's Corey Seager. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Stepping into the box, Mookie Betts. Yes, he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The pitch. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Well, that's a pitch right there. you got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Here's the first pitch to him. Jacob DeGrom is in with two away as he takes a ball, one and oh. And he takes a cold strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Stan Musial. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. and That evens it up. 1-1. One and one. Pitch on the way. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Another one sent foul. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Count still at one and two. Now here's the pitch. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single.
batting fifth. The second base. And now Robinson, Robinson Cano. Fifth. Yes, he'll Cano. take a look at ball one. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. And this one's too far inside ball two. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Two balls and a strike to count. And this will be fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. And this one's in the dirt but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now the three and two pitch. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. There to take it is Trout, and that's out number one. Digging in, Carlos Correa. The third baseman, Carlos. From the belt, kicks and deals. On a line to shortstop. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Barry Larkin is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside. Ready for another chance? Jose Ramirez. He reached on a single in his first try. Now here's the pitch. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. A bouncer to the left side, fielded cleanly. And the throw on to first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So one away here with the bases empty and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. And he fouls this one off. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. On to first, and there are two down. Digging in now, Ken Griffey Jr. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. And it's a ball and a strike to Ken Griffey Jr. Fouled away. Bounce to first. And he is out on the tag. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Forrest Whitley. First pitch of the at bat. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, gotta believe that pitch is coming again right here. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. One out nobody on. Checks his swing but this will be strike two call. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The batter, 
Number digging 10. in for his second at bat. Number 10. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory. Here's the catcher Travis Darno as we begin the top of the fourth. The catcher. Squared that one up just a little late. The wind up and the 0 1. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. And it's fouled away. Drilled right back up the middle. And that is by him on into center field. So good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. Now better. So the next up will be Freddie Freeman Freddie. as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Pretty good pitch right here to a left handed power here. The one thing you want to do. Keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. Now that's so base is empty now after the double Fernando. play. And next will be the speed threat. Fernando Tatis Jr. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive base hit. Here's Corey Seager as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Comes set and the 0-1. Oh, sorry, that's the ball. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him 1 for 2 in this one. Here's Mookie Betts. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the hind. Into the bleachers and gone. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. Standing in now, Jacob now DeGrom. As he'll take a look at the pitch Jacob. too low. It's ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ball two and oh. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. In there, two and one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Jose Ramirez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. In there, and it's full three and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better, and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Three runs already home here. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So digging in now, Bryce Harper is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On the ground and right at the shifted infielder. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, David Ortiz. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a good idea to hold off on that. swing it's ball one four to one our score as we play inning number four there's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field and bye bye that one's gone into the bleachers
So now to the plate, Stan Musial. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Full count, three and two. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. The second baseman. First pitch of the at bat. Cano. Robinson Cano stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Real nice curveball there. Had a lot of late break, and he waved right through that one. one. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest. 1 and 1. Fastball called strike. 1 and 2. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Ramirez has got it, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and set to go is the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Now the 2-0 home. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Ball one to start the at-bat. Counts even to Trout one and one. One and one. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Two balls and two strikes now. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Acuna giving chase. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The left field, number 24. Into the box now for Ken Griffey Jr. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And it's quickly 0 and 2. 4 2 our score here as we play inning number 5. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he's out on the tag. But they do play to run on the play. Now that to the plate now, Travis Darno. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, two gone. So a man at third here with two gone and into bat next one of the best run producers in the game the left handed hitting first baseman Freddie Freeman one ball no strikes the count line drive base hit and now it'll kick around in the corner and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead it's now six to two to second now but he's safe as a run will score on the play as well up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. One ball, no strikes to count. Out of play, off to the right. It's one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. From the stretch. A bouncer to the left side. Picked up by Larkin. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and stepping up as the shortstop Carlos Correa this one doesn't look good so far down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings 
it's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. The batter number 11. Barry. Into the box, Barry Larkin. As he can't catch up on a fastball to letters, and it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag from second. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Joey Votto will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Joey Votto. Now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. This is pulled into right, and that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? But he'll think twice about running against that arm out there as he hangs on at second with two gone now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ronald Acuna is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1-0. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. From the stretch. That's ball three. Number ten would be next. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Ready now once back. again, number, number 10. 10. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base oh, and two gone here in the fifth. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind oh, here. Right. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. The 1-1 one, one home. Back, yeah. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now the 2-1. And he fouls this one off. Correa at second. Acuna on at first with two down. Fly ball right down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Fouled away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Striding into the box, Bryce Harper. One for two with a solo shot that came back in the first inning. Ball one to start the at-bat. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Betts at the track. The wall. It's a grand slam. Oh, man, when he got the second out, I thought he might come out of this unscathed. But after that towering grand slam, he's about as scathed as you can get. Is that a word? Uh, who cares? It is now. And now, David Ortiz. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. One for two in the ball game thus far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Trout. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning.
Julio Arias takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. New inning set to get underway. Striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. Corey Seager. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Man, you could tell by the sound of that one off the bat, that was going a long way. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Now it's 2-0. Well, he's not proving that he can command his breaking ball in the zone right now. And until he does, there's no reason to bite on it. A swing and a blast to center field. No doubt about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs as that one's way out of here. Standing in now, Jacob DeGrom. And it's fouled away. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fouled off. No outs, nobody on. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. And this will get all the way to the wall now. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top. But he was able to lay off it. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. And he fouls this one off. No one out with a runner at second. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that one is gone. 